I mean, what more can I say? Yeah. This yeah. charity saved my life. Every year, we do this night of comedy for a very good cause. And this year, you've been instrumental in choosing the charity. Uh, please tell us which charity it is and why. So, um, I feel uh, kind of emotional announcing this, but the, the charity is the Royal National Orthopaedic Hospital Charity. And they support the work of the Royal National Orthopaedic Hospital, which is where I had my operation last year. Uh, they removed the cancer from my spine and I was there for a long time recovering and I still go back for physio and for various other things. It's a national hospital, so anyone in the country could get referred there. It's one of the best orthopaedic hospitals in the world. And the work that they do, giving people spinal surgery, removing cancer, they do a lot of work with veterans, giving them um, prosthetic limbs. And the history of that place is incredible, but it's a hospital that leads a lot of extra support beyond the NHS budget uh -huh. that it gets to do pioneering work to try and treat cancer in a non-surgical way um, and to help any patient that ends up there. And it's such a special place. The treatment that you get there really is above and beyond. And it can only really operate with the help that the charity does. It does phenomenal work, raising money for it, helping the patients there, and... I was on a ward with people from all over Britain. This wasn't just a local hospital. This was people from Leeds, from Cornwall, from Newcastle. Hopefully, none of us ever have to go there, but I did, and I saw firsthand. And I, my recovery would not have gone the way it did without the work of that charity. So uh, it's a privilege that uh, this night at the Palladium, Absolute Radio, on, on, on the 17th of uh, November, will raise money for the Royal National Orthopaedic Hospital Charity. How wonderful. Yes, amazing. They saved speak. your life. So it's a lovely life. thing to do. Well, I mean, what more can I say? Yeah. Yeah. This charity saved my life. Yeah. And it may well save yours one day. And anyone who's been to that hospital knows that it is very special. But it needs to be able to continue the work that it's doing. So, all every, And the thing is, with, with charities like this that are so specific, is that every penny that is raised on that night or in future goes so much further. Now, obviously, there are big national charities out there that do a lot of good. The, the 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 difference that this night will make to what they can do in a year will be huge. So the impact, I think, with a charity like this is so much more magnified um, than perhaps with, with larger charities. So this will this will just make a huge difference. I mean, obviously, having a, a positive outlook in life, even during the most challenging of times, this must be one of those moments where, given all that you've been through, 4D, you know, and I'm sorry you had to go through it, but now you're able to speak so eloquently and passionately about a charity that we can all actually collectively help do some good for. And without those experiences, this wouldn't be happening right now. Definitely. And without, without the help they gave me, I wouldn't be so positive. I'm naturally an optimistic person, and that definitely helps if you're going through something difficult, because... You still, you're not deluded, you're still upset when things are hard and it's not nice being told you've got cancer, it's not nice being in physical pain. But if in general you think, well actually this is worth it to have a better life and the people treating me are really special people and the, the charity actually, as well as the staff that are at the hospital, they have their own volunteers that the, the charity helps organise that bring the food. It's small things like, as well as the big stuff that they do, investing in new technology to make sure that in the UK you don't have to go abroad. You shouldn't have to pay to go abroad. You should be able to get these operations on the NHS uh -huh. and get the very best pioneering treatment, whether it's bone cancer operations or cancer treatment, um, at this hospital. Um, that they're, they're volunteers there, really positive people who come in and they give you your dinner. And you don't have to pay for your TV in that hospital because of the work that the charity does. They do so much to take the pressure off the patient. And then that allows you to be more positive because actually the more stresses that are on you when you're in a very difficult situation will uh -huh. affect your mood. They're bound to get you down you, So more. you can focus on getting well the, the best you can. Absolutely. Yeah. And, yeah. and even just things like... There is artwork on the walls, like they've got a painter in to like paint like kingfishers and things on the walls. So actually, these places, it makes it feel less like a hospital. Uh -huh. And that is a big deal because you, you can fall into a trap in a hospital feeling like, well, I'm here, so I must be in a bad way. Obviously, if you've had the base of your spine removed, you know that you're in a bit of... You know, yeah. you feel like there, there are yeah. other key clues around the room. <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> and it's just labs. a nicer environment exactly. to recover exactly. in, it, as well? They've got the right approach to creating what a hospital should be, and that allows patients then to be more positive and their families. And It's just the way hospitals should be. Every hospital should be like the Royal National Orthopaedic. And with help with like charities, you know, with charities like that, if every hospital had a charity like that attached to it, yeah. it'd be a very different place.